This experiment explores the effect of structured water upon the transmutation phenomenon. This was done by increasing the energetical potential of the water through both a yin and a yang charging. The water was structured and charged by creating vortices, first in a yin and then in a yang direction. To create these vortices, the water was made to flow between two 18 litre bottles. The bottles were connected using a rubber coupler and a 2 inch washer was used between the bottles in order to control the rate of water flow and thus the size of the vortex. The water was then spun in a yin clockwise direction for 15 minutes every 3 hours for 72 hours. After 24 hours, the bottles were refilled and the new water was again spun, this time in the yang anti-clockwise direction, again every 3 hours for a further 72 hours. The water was drunk after each spinning and over the three days, the effects of drinking the yin and then the yang water were observed. Normal, unstructured, filtered tap water was drunk in the 24 hours between the three days of drinking the yin and then the yang energized water. The three types of water, yin, yang and uncharged, were also used to germinate samples of mung, alfalfa and quinoa seeds. The mung beans sprouted successfully, but after seven days the difference in the mung bean sprouts was not particularly evident. By the eleventh day, however, a significant difference in the growth of the bean shoots was observed. The shoots that had been watered with structured, spun water developed faster and appeared more healthy than those watered with normal unstructured water. The stage of germination where the increased growth was observed in this experiment corresponds to the same stage of increased transmutation in germination proven by scientists Kervran and Zundel. This experiment therefore shows a direct influence of structured water on the transmutation within the plants.